um, like a, I'm just showing you, there's the lid. Can't get it out of the box. I don't know. Like a, I don't know. What are you? Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my May Boxy Charm box here for you today and I actually also have Wantable to show you this month as well. So I thought I would do like a little kind of subscription showdown between the two because I've tried Wantable before but it's been a couple of years and I always love BoxyCharm. So I'm just gonna show you what I got in my May BoxyCharm and then also what's in this Wantable box and then I'm gonna tell you which one I like more. So let's jump into it. Okay, so starting with BoxyCharm, it looks like the theme this month is Spring Vibes. It said it's more than a feeling. Really super cute, looks kind of like wood printed on the card, really super cute. So first thing, there is a perfume in here this is the Catherine Malandrino Romance de Provence Deluxe Mini Sprayer, 10 milliliters. And I smell this, I do not like this perfume. But perfume is so personal preference, it reminds me of Flower Bomb, which is probably my most hated perfume ever. Oh my gosh, that one just, and I know so many people love that perfume, but it gives me a headache like crazy. I just don't like the way it smells. But if you like Flower Bomb, I think you would probably like this one. So I'm gonna pass this one on to somebody who does like this type of perfume. And I got a brow gel. This says The Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. So The Brow Gal Clear Brow Gel. This is a value of $20. I actually did not open this and try it because I have several brow gels open already. So I didn't wanna waste it and you know, mess it up and get it all dried out or whatever. And it just says it's in clear. So, I mean, you know, that's always nice. I mean, brow gels are a necessary thing for the most part. I actually don't use them every day. Can't get it out of the box. I actually don't use them on myself every day, but I probably should because I mean, I have some like unruly brow hairs, um, but I always keep them in my kit for sure. So at a minimum, this will go in my kit or I may use it on myself, but brow gel is always nice. And I got a nail polish. This is the Ella Plus Mila nail polish and it's a value of 1050. Looks like it's five free nail polish, which is really nice. Vegan, quick drying and chip resistant. So I got the shade. I am wearing this today on all fingers, but this one. Um, this is in the shade Pistache. Yeah, because it's not pistachio, pistache. It's like a pretty like light minty color. I really liked this. Um, it was a little sheer. Um, it was pretty sheer on the first coat, but really I feel like mints usually are. I like that this one is a really light mint, kind of like a light muted mint. So really, really pretty. It's got a little elephant on the front, so it's cute packaging. It was easy to apply. Um, so yeah, I like it. And a double-ended liner from Pure. This is the Pure Double Ego Dual-Ended Eyeliner. This is a value of $21. I actually already own this, so I didn't open this one. I used the one that I already own. I have this on my lower lash line today. It's smudgy over here because my eyes are watering earlier because of a headache, blah, blah, blah. So it does run, but I do really like these liners because it's got one side that's a pencil and then the other side is um, like a, I'm just showing you, there's the lid. And what's under the lid is a liquid liner. <laughs> like the kind of pen type of a liner. So really pretty. Um, I think these are great. This is in the color Queensland. So just a beautiful kind of turquoisey teal color. So I would say like on the daily, I have leftover lipstick swatches there, so don't mind that. But you know, on a regular day, this wears pretty well, but on like a profusely watering eye day, it will probably run. But I do really like these. I think it's really convenient that it's two-sided like that. I'm really excited about this. This is a really great neutral lip liner. This is the Star Looks Luxe Lip Liner, and it's a value of 1950. And this is in the color Charmed, I assume, it says Charmed, and Charmed is in quotations, Charmed Ultra Long Wear Lip Pencil, but then it says MLP3. So it's either Charmed or MLP3, but it's just a really pretty kind of like peachy neutral color. Love this, really creamy, really comfortable, glides on the lips. I'm actually not wearing anything on my lips right now because my lips are so 
angry with me after lip swatch videos or one I did the um Maybelline the Loaded's Loaded Bolds the Loaded Bolds yeah I did that one oh my gosh my poor lips so I'm not wearing anything on my lips right now other than some chapstick but anyway this is a really pretty lip liner great neutral everyday color and then the thing that I am probably most excited about I got a makeup peak blush and this is a color that I did not already own it's in the compact which is really nice this is a value of $15. Um, I got the color XOXO. So all of mine I've always bought in the um, little individual pans. You know, I have them all like in a Z palette type thing, but this packaging is so nice. Like it's almost like a rose goldy gunmetal sort of packaging. Very high end feeling. It feels heavy. Like it looks like Urban Decay to me. Really nice quality. So there it is in the pan. I did wear this, I think yesterday. It wore really, really well. Just a really pretty kind of like peachy color is really how I would describe it. It's like, well, like a peachy coral. Really, really pretty. Very pigmented. Pretty much a satin sort of a finish. Yeah, pretty much a satin. Satin matte. I really don't see a lot of sheen to it, just maybe the tiniest little bit, but really, really beautiful. Again, that packaging is just so high-end feeling, so I'm super pumped about this. Okay, so that was everything that was in my BoxyCharm box, so I just added up the value of that, and it was $106, so now we're going to move on to Wantable. One thing I was definitely impressed about with Wantable is it came packaged really nicely, so it has like this big foamy thing on the top here. So it just feels very protected. Um, I don't know, just like boxed really nicely. So in here I got a polish and then a top coat. These are the Spellbound Nail Lacquer in Pandora and then the Nail Lacquer Ceramic Top Coat. So I had to read about the top coat. It says, these polishes bind to the nail for a gel-like wear that lasts up to two weeks. The entire line of Spellbound Nail Lacquer is five free, cruelty free, vegan, long wearing, quick drying, and chip resistant. So yeah, that's what the other one says too. Oh, they both have, they have separate descriptions for each of them, but I was making sure I wasn't missing something on the second one. So anyway, there is the color and I do have that on my nail there. Now, it kind of worked out this way. I forgot to do a separate top coat on this one, so you can kind of see what it looks like. So it's a really pretty color. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know, what are you? Like a purpley pink or something? Maybe it's kind of how I would describe it. Um, and when I used like this ceramic top coat, it kind of was like sort of matte looking, not fully matte, but kind of more like satiny. So then I went over my nails with, um, my out the door top coat so then it made it shiny but i forgot to put it on this one for some reason so you can kind of see it's you know sort of like a satin matte sort of look on the nails which i prefer shiny so you know if i were to use this i would like to use my out the door i would probably use that every single time so it kind of looks shiny but looks really pretty i can't speak to the wear time yet but it applied nicely it was really a nice formula it didn't pool it wasn't streaky it applied really, really nicely, and um, it would be great if it lasts for two weeks. Next, I got a mascara, and y'all have told me how to pronounce this company name, and I don't remember. I've forgotten again. It's Dose, 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 something like that. I don't know. But this is the Punk Volumizer Mascara, and it's a value of $24.00. I think the description has a typo in it because it says define lashes one by one, making thicker and adding spectacular volume. Making them thicker, I'm assuming. The intense volumization gives you instantly thicker and fuller lashes, giving off the ultimate seduction. So I tried this before, so I didn't open this because I have it somewhere. I tried to go find it and I couldn't find it. Maybe I've already thrown it away like it was in an empties maybe. That sounds familiar, probably. But I really did like this mascara. I remember it gives a lot of volume. It does give you vavoom lashes. I remember I was actually really impressed with this mascara and I'm kind of picky about mascaras. I remember that it did smudge a little bit on me, but not horribly, which in the grand scheme of me and my eyelid oiliness, that's really good. A little bit of smudging is really good for me. 
because most mascara is smudged. So I like this. And there's an eyeliner in here. This is the Mirabella Eye Definer, and this is in Smoke. And it's a retail value of $19. And it says, richly colored eye pencil glides on smoothly for a perfectly precise look. So this is a really nice eyeliner. Like it's, it's just a regular like pencil type liner. So you're gonna have to um, sharpen it, but you know, that's not a huge deal. But it's just a really nice, like smudgy black looking liner, really nice. And it does smudge out. So you've got some time, like if you want a more kind of smudgy look with your liner, this would definitely work, but then it does set down. So really nice liner, feels creamy, feels soft, feels like it's, you know, not gonna tug on the eyes. So I like that. And lastly, I got a blush and it's again from that brand I can't pronounce. But this says Cheek Blush number 50, and it's a value of $28. It says Ultra Smooth Blush with a Sheer Color Payoff, which gives off a soft and fine composition. This silky blush feels natural and completely comfortable. So I did try this one day, and it's nice. Like the packaging, um, I don't want to blind you, but it's like a, a mirrored type packaging. Um, but it doesn't feel like super duper heavy, but it does feel nice. So that is what it looks like in the pan. I don't know how they could say that this is sheer because this is quite a bit of color. It's right here. It's like a, I mean, it's, it's really bright, really pretty. I love the color. It's like a bright orangey coral, gorgeous color, but I wouldn't say that's sheer. I would say that's like, that, that's pretty pigmented. Let's see if we can kind of sheer it out. I did wear it on my cheeks and I mean, it wasn't like clown cheeks, but I mean, I had to, I had to really, you know, be careful with it. I mean, it definitely does blend really nicely. So, I mean, you can like, you know, get it to be a little bit more sheer, but it's a pigmented blush. So maybe, you know, a different color. I don't know if there's different colors that go out to different people. Um, so maybe a different color would be more sheer, but I mean, I like it. I like that it has good pigmentation. I think it's a pretty blush color and really fun for summer, really fun color. Okay, so that's everything that came in my Wantable box. So the value of that box was $99 of all the products added up. So comparing the values, BoxyCharm wins. Um, just like which products do I like better? I do like the products that got better in BoxyCharm and also BoxyCharm is cheaper. I think BoxyCharm is like right at $21 a month and Wantable is 40. So while I do like some of the things that came in my Wantable box, just overall, BoxyCharm is definitely the winner for me, which I've always loved BoxyCharm, so that doesn't really surprise me. Um, but this just kind of shows me even more how much I really do love BoxyCharm. So anyway, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this kind of like subscription showdown here. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you got in either your BoxyCharm or your Wantable box. I always enjoy hearing that. If you guys have any questions for me, just ask those down below. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.